It's snowing. Previously on Sailing by Lachandra, I tackled yet another winter storm, and I showed you how I use a tablet and avionics for navigation. So we had our first real snowfall of the winter last night, and the boat is covered in snow, the dock is covered in snow, so let's check it out. Well, it looks like somebody already shoveled. Maybe I'm not that quick. I've been knocking snow off the boat all night actually. I didn't want uh, a bunch of weight on top of my enclosure, so that's why uh, there's not a whole lot up there. I got up two or three times in the night to do it. Here's my shovel. So what you want to do is just give, give your enclosure a bit of a bang here. Knock all the snow off from the inside if you can keep the weight off and let that greenhouse effect do the rest. But you're going to lose your greenhouse effect if you don't have your enclosure exposed to the sun. So that's what I'm doing. Also keep an eye on things like this where you've got poles holding the weight. Make sure that they're on their blocks. My name's Noel, or Nawal, or Nunu, or Nanusi, but call it's you mostly, Nunu. you're going to call me. So why did we choose this dish? Well, we, we chose it and named it at the same time, right? Yeah, we did. But this is a dish that it's very practical for when you're voyaging and you're running low on supplies. Potatoes last a long time, right? So on passage, if you come down to just having potatoes or whatever. Well, I think we use potatoes, an onion, parsnips. Garlic, um, dry cranberries, yeah. peanuts. These are all like things that last a long time. Yeah, so this is a great dish for like putting on in your recipe book for uh, a long passage. I think it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're gonna show you how to make it. Rogue's Roots. Rogue's Roots. <laughs> yeah. It's a pirate name. Rogue. Arr. It's really yummy. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, Valentine's Day is coming up. Oh yeah, it is coming up. Feed her the roots. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to be making Rogue's Roots. It's made out of like items that you're going to be able to find on the boat. This is what we're working with. An onion, garlic, potatoes, sweet potatoes. We don't have any carrots. Dried cranberries, walnuts, peanuts. Going to be using some brown sugar, olive oil. Salt, pepper. What do we got here? It's garlic. It's parsley. <laughs> no, it's did garlic. Did you fill it up? I did. Yeah, and for that there. <laughs> and rosemary. We're gonna peel some sweet potatoes or yams. Potatoes, and I have parsnips. We forgot to mention parsnips. They're there. So I'm all ready to go. I got my wine. I'm drinking Toscana. Toscana is my favorite wine. It's Italian. It's awesome. All right, let's get started. Gonna peel some yams.
and the pod, it's all our roots. Yep. So parsnip, sweet potato, potato. I did three, well, kind of four cloves of garlic here because I love garlic. Onion, did the same thing, kept them cubed. And I'm just gonna use this at the end here, the green onion. Sweet. All right, so uh, we boil the roots and strain them, and here they are. They're not boiled like to the point that they're falling apart like mashed potatoes. They're like kind of still firm. You want that because we're gonna fry them. So what I've done here is I've got some olive oil in a frying pan ready to go, and we're just gonna turn on the burner. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just fry up some garlic and some onion in this frying pan, and that's the first thing. Uh, we're gonna get them nice and caramelized before we add the roots. Add some more olive oil. How much rosemary do you put in here, Dan? Um, just a sprinkle? Or? Yeah, like just give it a topping. Like. All right, so at this stage, now that these have been about, they're not brown yet, but they're just getting there. I'm going to add the cranberries because they will start to caramelize with this and release a lot of flavor. So I think it's a good time to add them. So here we go. So we have it on high heat. You want these to crisp up a little bit. You can tell that they're starting to here. Um, flip it often. We're gonna add some maple syrup to this dish just to, you know, sweeten it a little bit up. Before serving, sprinkle with nuts, green onion, and brown sugar, and a little maple syrup if you want that Canadian twist like us. All done. Finally. I'm starving. Yeah, looks good. Looks delicious. Dig in. Rogue's Roots. Mm, bon appetit. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah. It's good. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future content and leave a like. And if you want, leave a comment below because I read them and I like to know what you guys think. Thanks guys. See you later. <laughs> I don't know how to play this shit. <laughs>